Yes. Six by eight locker, not too big. What do we got here? Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness, snap on. My lens are light, so it's hard to tell if it's in here or not. Oh, it's something's in there. What do we got here? A little Darth Vader. I feel pretty. <laughs> Italian stallion, what the heck? That's from Rocky. <gasps> Keep out. <laughs> I don't think so. Sorry, but we're going in. All right, this might get embarrassing. You ready? Oh, Pokemon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, I thought I was a nerd, but those guys may have out nerded me. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, I'm liking this box. Good morning, Locker Nuts. All right, bought a unit yesterday. You may have seen it at the end of the last video if you watched that. Uh, security public storage. Here we are. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, we paid $1,010 for this. Not a big unit, six by eight. Saw some interesting stuff in there, but really I bought it mainly because it's close to my house. I say that so many times lately. I love buying lockers that are close to home for me. How does this work? Oops, wrong, wrong area, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oops, nope, that's not it either. Okay, let's go find it. Definitely felt like I overspent on this. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough corner right there. Here we go, 11.24. Okay, let's get this open and then we'll go back for a cart. Maybe we need a smaller cart. So yeah, I definitely feel like I overspent on this. Uh, I mean, we'll find out if there's some good stuff, but from what I saw, a little bit much. Okay. I'm excited. Here we go, that's what it looks like on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yes, all right. Six by eight locker, not too big. But yes, 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 yes. Oh, I don't remember seeing the Star Wars. I had to have seen it though, I just don't remember that. Saw the TVs, this right here, they said was a violin, all right? That was in the description, violin. It did not say violin case. It said violin, which is a little suspect, but I guess hope it's in there. See that camouflage bag back there? That's kind of interesting. And this right here says Polo Global. So I don't know what that is, but uh, we got a fair amount of boxes here. We love our boxes. That's the boxes of opportunity right there. The TVs, it looks like a little air conditioning unit there. I don't know, but this right here, this fridge is kind of interesting. It's not like real interesting, but Galanz is the brand. I did not know what that was, so I looked it up. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll put a comp on the screen. I think it's like, I think it's like 600 or 800 bucks brand new. It's like a retro series. You see, it is kind of small. It's nice for a little apartment or something if somebody wants a little funky vibe. You want a red retro fridge. I wonder how heavy that is, because I got the van today, so I'm gonna be lifting that on my own. What do we got here? Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness, snap on. Oh, what the heck? Right out the gate. I was like, oh, that's good. Got some tools, but then snap on really, really good. This is kind of interesting, that's empty, but um, this right here, guys, this could be a hundred bucks. Could be. Definitely looks like it's used. It's an air gun, right? I don't see a model number on there, but I definitely have to do some research on that. that that's a good start. Snap-on's always good. I barely ever find snap-on, surprisingly. I don't really buy tool units. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Good start, good start. Um, this is nice looking little lamp here. I mean, lamps don't really sell. These uh, floor lamps don't really sell that well. Let's see what this is, right? That's not a good sign. Feels like it could have something in there. Okay, whatever's in this pocket's kind of heavy. Let's look there first. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of photos. But look at this, digital camera, an old cell phone, an old iPhone. That looks like a very old iPhone, like maybe an original iPhone. And another flip phone, Sprint. Very well used. Oh, ooh. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm getting excited. 
I'm getting excited. I don't think that's gold. Please be wrong. There is something in there. May the force be with you. What? <laughs> that's funny. Little Star Wars, I doubt that's gold. Probably just uh, costume stuff. Here's another. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. So funny they got all these phones in here. That's another iPhone right here. Looks like it's got like a battery. Yeah, a power case. Oh, it's even got a charge still. What the heck? I wonder how long it's been in here. So that's an iPhone and this one. I don't know what that is. Some sort of Android probably. Android phone. Okay. Decent little start right there. But if we have a violin in here, that's going to be a much better start. A much better start. Let's see. Violins are light, so it's hard to tell if it's in here or not. Oh, it's something's in there. Okay. That is not a violin. Interesting. That's a ukulele. Lanakai? Lanakai? Ukulele Hawaii? Model number LU-21CE slash BK. Oh! This is a powered ukulele. What the heck? You put it... Oh my goodness, that is cool. That sounds good, too. I wonder how long this stuff's been in here, because it's still in tune. The battery's still charged. What? This is actually better than... No, it's not better than a violin. Never mind. <laughs> My girls might actually keep that. Grace plays the, the ukulele a little bit. The fact that it's an acoustic electric, I guess is what you call it, that makes it a little bit more interesting because she doesn't have one of those. That's a good find, guys. <laughs> Snap-on, electric ukulele, and a handful of decent electronics. This is a good little start right here. But $1,000, yeah, we got we got to get a lot more. I think this is a yearbook. Yes, 2006. All right. Oh, yeah, let's not forget about the Star Wars. The Child, The Mandalorian, Serial, huh? 2021, yeah, it's a little past the prime. I don't think we'll be lock of food challenging that, okay? But I did want to look on the photos. Well, you know what, I'll let you guys look at the photos. I'll throw it on the screen of what the unit looked like. I can't remember that being there. So you got to be careful when you open these units up because um, you want to make sure that what you, what's inside matches the uh, photos. Because if they don't, then someone's been in it. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to see that. Ah, I just noticed this actual big tub right here is Husky. Stackable storage bins. That's pretty cool. Be nice if we had, like, five or six of those. Oh, look at this. Star Wars pop head. What we got here? A little Darth Vader. Lights and sounds. Looks like it's been opened before. Very dusty. The dust is actually good. It means it's probably been here a while. So, <laughs> all right, guys, what do you think? I think this is going to be a fun locker. we got Funko Pop Star Wars, which I didn't bid on. we got a violin case, which has a... Not a violin, right? So, hmm. All right, let me get that cart in here. We'll keep digging. Okay, I just realized they got some smaller carts. So I grabbed a big one, the small one. Navigated just fine. So I went out, I got my bins. I brought a few of these black and yellows along with me so I can start sorting out the better stuff. Put that in there to bring home. Man, the one thing I forgot, though... I forgot a table, and I forgot a garbage can. So that's not one thing, two things I forgot. I'm actually a little bit rusty, so right now this is early... Well, what's today? February 10th, I think. February 10th, I haven't bought a unit in two months. So I am a little bit rusty. This is my first unit of 2023, so very excited about that. I really want to start the year with their good one, so here's the hoping. I've been bidding on a few, but they've been going really, really high. Uh, so even this one went really high, but yeah. Anyway, so let's get in it. Okay, back to this thing, since it's in front. All right, chemical guys. It's empty, but that's a good product. <laughs> a couple gloves, and I don't They feel almost like costume. That's decent right here. Blue Point, Blue Point, YA4050B. I think that's for an oil filter. And look at this, 31 foot-pounds. Uh, looks like the brands wore off on this. This is, this is a heavy duty right there. It's very greasy, though. And, what the heck is this? What is, what is that? What the, what, what? I don't know. I don't know. Craftsman right here. That's decent. Yeah, a few good tools there. Really good, but this is probably the only one I'm going to put aside. And this I'll put aside. And this I'll put aside. Oh, I just found one more thing in that violin case. Uh, a Nintendo wallet. Definitely very used, but kind of cool. Let's just make sure there's no money or anything in there. No. 
It's neat. If that was new, that would have been a keeper, but yeah, whatever. Okay, what else we got going on over here? I see some Batman over there. I like that. Okay. <laughs> There's some wigs. Actually, these look pretty... Oh, Jesus, no. No, locker nuts. Don't find that stuff. That You know what's going to have to happen now? Ooh, these look like nice wigs, too. Dang. That's like real wigs, like not costume, not spirit Halloween store wigs. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. What do you think? I feel pretty. <laughs> Uh, are one of these more my color? Maybe, maybe pink. I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It doesn't feel like it's on right, but maybe it is. How's that one look? <laughs> All right, enough of that. Back to work. Almost everything I'm finding, I'm keeping. Like, there's the cell box. There's personal stuff to get back with. I gotta have to do better than that. We need to find more cell stuff. All right. D DVC is a junior college not far from here. What's this? Ah, oh, Tom and Jerry, size medium, tank top. That's kind of neat. It's not old. It's meant to look old, I think. Oh, that's a little bit neater, though. Okay, I got those floor lamps out. Those those actually aren't bad. Yeah, floor lamps are a tough sell at the market, but this one especially looks very modern. Let's get that straightened out. Uh, where's the light? Oh, I don't think those have bulbs. Those are LEDs. That's, that's kind of neat. I really like this tub right here. It's a cool piece. So that we're going to go. The rest of this, go through it real quick. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I think that's a Funko Pop. Maybe not. Bobblehead? I think that's a Funko Pop. That's, uh, what's that guy's name? Insidious? No, not Insidious. I forget. Another Star Wars guy. Cool. Oh, that's cool. You put the little Instax camera in there. It's a little snow globe. It's cracked. It's got a big crack. Right, forget it. Old Navy. Mm, that's neat. Oh, Batman. Did we not find one of these already? Like in that locker not too long ago? I know we found like a belt that had the seat belt on it. Found a lot of Batman stuff. Maybe I'm tripping, but I'm going to keep it. Not keep it, but put it aside. There's a Dickies belt right here. Wow, that actually looks like it's in brand new condition. There's just one little scuff on it. Okay. Kale ing it. Ah, ha, ha, very punny. That's an Under Armour. I'll put it aside. Ooh, what we got here? Purse. Ooh. <laughs> little costume jewelry. What is this? Ellum and Paul. It's very clean. Very clean. Like, it was not used much. Put that stuff aside. Another costume jewelry here. It's pretty. I think it's costume. I'm nearly positive that's just costume, but we put that aside, too. Trademark Lucasfilm Limited Funko. This is the stand for the other guy. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. It's a little headband for like a uh, 20s costume flappers, right? So all that can just go to the market. That can too. Oh, okay. Nice little garbage can there. And I think we're just going to use that for garbage. But it's got bottles in there right now. Recyclable. Look at that lock. They cut that lock. There's a dead cricket or something. There's just some personal paperwork there. Nothing important. That's a nice clipbook right there. Notepad to clipboard. Hat. Kleenex. Oh, there's an Adidas hat. A little better. Oh, this is Imperial Stormtrooper. This is a bag. This is cool. It's heavy, too. Oh, there we go. We got some Red Bull. Yeah, baby. Let's see what the expiration is. 24, 2024. That's, that's... That's good. I'll put that aside. I got my Starbucks right here, but just in case I run out and get a get low on energy, there we go. South Beach rings. What's this? Uh, some kind of nu uh, nutrition stuff. Muscle recovery, endurance, hydration. Uh, so, so this is a cooler bag. This is pretty cool. Get it? <laughs> little Star Wars cooler bag. Oh, it's even got the Star Wars tag. Okay. Nice. Well, actually, that's that's really cool. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put that. Oh, that's neat. I get a pre impress kind of easy, kind of easy. You guys know that. There's a jacket. It just looks like a, a nope. I was gonna say a regular jacket. It is not some kind of Star Wars thing. That's like Rogue Leader, but it looks like they took the tag off. It's stinky too. You can see they sweat it out. I'm gonna just gonna let that go at the market. If it had the tag in it, I would definitely put it aside. That would probably be something to wash and resell. You know, because it's Star Wars. 
This this bag kind of stinks right here. They put some dirty clothes in here. It's stinky. Old Navy. These are nice. I feel like they could be Nike or something. I'm going to go through the clothes. I, of course, I'm looking for any kind of like Levi's. I'm looking for t-shirts, especially older shirts, anything vintage. I'm going to do that right now off camera. And here we go at the bottom of that. A little bit of t-shirts, sort of. They're tops anyways, but this is comfort colors. Ocean sunfish. I don't know. Is that something? I'll put it aside. There's a Victoria's Secret. We'll put that aside. There's pink, another Victoria's Secret. Put that aside. Divided. I think that's decent stuff right here. Italian. Oh, this is... Wait a second. Italian stallion. What the heck? That's from Rocky. <gasps> Guys, this is cool. so cool. Look. Okay, it's reprinted in 2010. Not quite a vintage. What is going on with that? I don't know. That's a kind of a cool shirt. It's definitely been worn a lot. That wear right there is, comes from washing a million times. It is a double stitch. I still think I can get 10 bucks for that at a better flea market. So I'll put that aside. This is neat too. That is okay. That was a decent few good things there. The rest of it will go to the flea market. Oh, this one's Nike. <laughs> good thing I checked that. Nike stuff's been selling really well, so I'll put that Nike aside. All right, this office chair, this is kind of decent. That actually looks pretty decent. It's very dusty. I mean, look at that. Can you see in there? This, I'll just show you. Look at that dust. <laughs> Ooh, that was, oh, look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, didn't even see it. Come, uh, two skateboards. Two skateboards, but this one especially. Check it out. Ooh. Atlas Truck Company. Oh my goodness, this looks like an expensive board. DB Longboards, 169 bucks. Wow. Okay, all right. Oh, that is really, really cool. DB. Uh, that's got to be something decent. Whoa. Locker nest does not belong on a skateboard. Those days are done for me. Great find. Great find. If I had seen that in the photos, I would definitely bought this one. <laughs> I did buy this one, but you know what I mean. Those are a little worn out right here. Look at those wheels. Somebody was doing something really hard on that. Not as impressed with this, I don't think. Venture is the trucks on it. Venture. That is. A, look at this. It's been ground down. See that? Like, it doesn't even have the shape anymore. They've been gra grinding that down so many times. That, I think I'll let go at the flea market, okay? I might be wrong on that, but I think I can let that go. Okay, let's get in here. Igloo Sportsman. That's a decent little cooler bag also. It's a little dirty on the inside. Definitely needs to be cleaned up. Um, Hunter Sportsman, though, I think that might be a few bucks. I don't know, five, ten bucks. I was, I could really use the table right now. That's a good little lantern right here. Oh my goodness, and it still works. Whoa, fantastic! Blazing five hundred. Let's look that up and see if we get a value on that. See if there's any. A little bit of value, I think there probably is. Okay, and there's my makeshift table. That'll work. Get me off my knees. The handles are broke on this. It's too bad. Whoa, they went to Qatar? Jeez. They went to Qatar Airlines anyways, but... Hmm. What you need, the locker provides. Oh my goodness, look, even the metal's breaking off. This soup. Oh my goodness, it really is all breaking apart. What a cheap suitcase. This is Polo Global. That cannot be Polo Ralph Lauren. It's literally disintegrating. What the heck? Okay, lots of clothes. Okay, we're just going to dump it on the ground. And once it's empty, we'll put it all back in. We have to take everything out. We've got to see. we got to find any. The little. Oh, there's Dragon Ball Z socks. That's funny. There's a sock monkey hat. That's funny. Yeah, I do not recommend doing it this way, guys, on the ground, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Ipsy. All right, let me go through this. I'll pull everything out and make sure we don't miss anything like, oh, see right here. Look at that. Adidas pants. Very cool. That's definitely going home. Um, that kind of stuff we're going to pull out. Sports bra right there. Super natural. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I'll pull out the good stuff and I'll do that off camera. Okay. Okay. We didn't really find very much good stuff, but there's a pink... Sports bra. Pink stuff sells a little better. There's a SpongeBob sports bra. It's pretty funny. Looks like it's a little overstretched right there, but that's a cool piece. I, I really don't know that this pink again, I think maybe a few bucks on those. Nothing significant. 
This is RU, and it is a Nike piece. Nike Forov? No, I don't know if that's Nike. It's something different, isn't it? I don't know what that is. Uh, um, this piece right here I just thought was kind of cool. It's got like a retro look to it, so I put that aside. And then just a few like yoga pants. Or in th that one, I just pulled out one pair of yoga pants. These ones right here. Energy Fitwear. Definitely seems a little bit nicer. A few pieces that we're going to put aside, figure out what to do with later. Whether it goes to like Danza Flea Market or goes into a live auction that we do. Um, I don't know. We'll decide later, but a little better stuff. This, and then I found a garbage bag in there. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through more clothes. And then I'm going to create a junk -a lanch there. Hey, this is a heavy backpack right here. Ooh, this is a nice backpack. I like it. Is it schoolwork or is it something cooler? Let's see. Oh, there's a brand new card right there. Happy birthday to you. We like finding those. Those sell also. We get enough of them, we can sell them. And what is this? I don't know what this stuff is. Okay. All right, guys, it looks like this is personal stuff. There's a diploma right there. Personal paperwork, so... I think we'll just get all this back to the office so they can return it to him. Well, there's a him and a her involved here. I don't know which one on the locker. So we'll just get all this back to the office and let them contact him. There's some kind of uh, exercise mat. Amazon Basics. Some little tennis rackets. Okay. Hold on, let's see what's in here. There's the other shoe. These are Nikes. They're pretty dirty, but still might sell. Oh, come on, jewelry. What do we got here? It's a little makeup. More makeup. That's nice. USB-C cord. Another USB-C to USB-A, I think it is, cord. Anyways, a couple good cords. Tampones. No, maxi pads. Let's see. Mango pineapple vodka. It actually sounds pretty good. Is that sealed or what? Yep, it was. Hmm. Gloves. What have we got here? Japanese Nishiyama. It's kind of spicy nuts. Hey, locker nuts. <laughs> we found some locker nuts. I don't see the expiration. So that must mean there is none. All right, locker nut challenge, anyone? I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Would you guys eat something that you found in the bin that looked like that? <laughs> All right, here it goes. Inconclusive. Need to try another one. Feels a little crunchier than it should be. Not bad. Hmm. It's all right. What else we got in here? Vodka locker challenge, anyone? <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, that's good. It's got that mango pineapple. Mango pineapple, yeah. Ooh, it's got a little kick, though. All right, that's it for that. But I might finish those later. Okay, next backpack. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is another nice one. Steel Series by Targus. That's cool. Nothing in it, though. What's this? Some gloves. Gamer gloves. Oh. Oh. This must be like touchscreen uh, fingertips or something. So, you know, it works with electronic devices. This is a nicer backpack. Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. That's a very nice HDMI cord. Super thick, high quality. Amazon Basics, it's, that's a nice cord. This Steel Series backpack seems nice too. Ooh, what else are we gonna find in here? Keep out. <laughs> I don't think so. Sorry, but we're going in. There's a Star Wars game. Okay, LucasArts. That looks like a PC. Yeah, PC game. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Diablo, Reaper of Souls, game mat, mouse, uh, mouse pad. 
Keep out gamer at play, battling enemies, defeating end bosses, smashing cars, mastering moves, blowing stuff up. Do not disturb, leave food and drinks at the door, and affect your own risk. That's brand new shrink wrap seal. It's kind of neat. Please do not disturb. I'm sleeping. And even if I'm awake, I probably don't want to see you. Okay. That's such stuff that like, teenage boys put on the wall. Star Wars Galaxy is another one. Star Wars Galaxy is another one. Oh, maybe that goes with that. Okay. Fast track. <laughs> it's a newer fast track. That's for our uh, car pullings. Okay, we've got one more zipper here. What's this? Notebook with the little baby Yoda there. And a Star Wars Galaxy's official game guide. All right, that's kind of neat right here. Little uh, TV tray that goes on your lap. You put your laptop on there. Maybe stand your phone up right there. That's kind of cool, actually. Hmm. I like it. 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 Let's put it over here. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. I found these from time to time. Everlast boxing gloves. So you got the MMA ones here. And you got the pro style training gloves here. I think I've sold these on eBay before. These look pretty good. Honestly, they don't even look like they were used, so that's a good. We probably will put those up on eBay or something. I don't know. We gotta look up what the price is. The MMA ones are interesting. Okay, these ones got... Wait, do they have wear? I think these ones have been worn a bit, so I don't know what to do with that just yet. Oh, this is good, guys. I had a feeling about this locker, and I'm finding some decent stuff. Star Wars. Razor Kraken. Gaming headset. There they are. Yes. Those are nice. Hmm. Okay. For gamers, by gamers. That's awesome. Oh, that's a good, that's a good. 7.1 surround sound, that's neat. All right, we'll put that over here, because there's no room in there. Next backpack, and this one's all tore up, unfortunately, because it is a Nike, but rough shape. So what's that? What is that for? Hmm. And uh, screen electronics cleaner. Glow bracelets. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's tons of them in there. A hundred of them. Here's more glow bracelets. And here's some red cups. Yeah, these look used. What's up with that? It's red funky stuff in there. It's a half drink Fuji water. It's an iPhone cord. Good. Oh, cards against humanity. This is good. We found these before. These actually sell for a decent amount of money. Still, I've never played that game, but I heard that it is a lot of fun. And uh, there is actually some value there. Cards Against Humanity. Second expansion, this says. This will make a nice lot. All those cards, that'll make a nice lot in our... Um, hmm? Okay. <laughs> Star Wars cards. And a nice tin right here. Yep. That's what they are. Star Wars. Nice little tin. Just playing cards regular. Not like a card game like that, you know. There's some dice. Nice. Oh, here we go. Ping pong balls. That's what the cups are for. Beer pong. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, whoopee cushion. Oh, whoopee cushion. Wait, that is huge. Place on someone's seat for a loud, flatulent fun. We're going to have to do it, guys. Okay, that took a lot of air. That took like five or six lungfuls to fill that up. This is not a normal size. And the funny thing is, I think someone's down the hall. <laughs> I heard the elevator right around the corner, but I don't hear anybody. All right, this might get embarrassing. Ready? That wasn't very good. That was a little disappointing, to be honest. I flattened it out pretty good though. Still gonna take it home. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is funny. Put that on the table and... <laughs> Drink. Maybe put a shot glass on it or something. It's funny. Barbuzzo. Okay, guys. I see something right here. That's a very good sign right there. Did you see that? Fragile Pops. I think those might be Funko Pops. Please let those be Funko Pops. So this is kitchen. What does that say? That says card? I did not see that. In the photos, I did not see that. Maybe someone else did. Maybe that's why they bid so much, but oh, please be Funko Pops. The Funko Pops could be a really fun item to, to sell. We love finding those. Decent little desk lamp. Okay, for now, let's keep working on this area here. Oh, this is spilling. Okay, what have we got? <laughs> I saw some Star Wars guys in there. Okay, ibuprofen, more the end dust screen and electronic cleaner. I kept the other one. Can definitely use that. Tide, nice. 
No detergent. These are like barely anything in them. Ooh, these will keep. That's what we're gonna keep right there. Calling dibs on it. Should probably keep this stuff too. What do we got here? Nice. Look at this. It's Lu Lucas Films, but probably Hallmark ornaments. Christmas ornaments. Yeah. That's cool. And a bunch of med. It looks like they emptied the medicine cabin out into here. Let's get this thing. Take a look. Product manuals and personal paperwork. Envelopes of cash. Does not appear to be. All right, we'll get we'll get all that back to the owner. I mean, to the office rather. You guys hear me say that? You know, get it back to the owner. I always mean get it back to the office. All right. The office will be in charge of getting in touch with them and seeing if they want to retrieve it. It's free, of course. They don't charge them for that. Even if they're back, you know, if they owe money, they won't have to pay anything to retrieve that. Oh, what's this? Okay. This is a nice monitor. All that um, liquid... Uh, uh, this stuff. Dang it. This one appears to be leaking, maybe? I don't know what's up with that. Leaked out. Leaked out. That's what we see in here. LED monitor. Doesn't look like it's too big. Oh, 24 inch. Okay. I don't know. That's cool. I could use another one of those at the house for our setups. All right, so we'll take that home, get it out of the box because the box is a mess. Another backpack right here. Oh, I see some lightsabers here. Cool. Oh, cool. But look at the uh, liquid detergent that is like created like what are those stalagmites or stalactites. I don't know, but that's unfortunate. Oh, it's on here too. That's also unfortunate because that's a nice backpack. Swiss gear. Heck yeah, that's a nice backpack. Well, that can be cleaned up. A little hot water. Ooh. Wait. What is this? It says razor on it, but uh, that's some kind of controller for something. For what? Is that for like a switch or is that to make your phone into a game? I don't know. There's the other side. Razor. This guy liked video games and... Man, we might find some more video games in here. These are, these are nice. Okay, it's just made in China. Polarized uh, Panama Jack. They seem a little bit nicer though. They, really, they feel good. I'll put those aside. <laughs> put those in my pocket. All right. Surge protectors here. That looks like a nice one right here. Grounded, protected. That's, that's decent. Pop socket. Those are those things you stick on the back of your phone. Another nice one right here, too. I like this one because it's got that really long cord. Yeah, that's kind of a neat thing. I'm gonna put that aside. And this USB C. Okay, some good cords. This one, maybe we'll let that go. We got enough. Okay. Oh, what's this, guys? Oh, come on. Laptop? Please, please, please. No, power bank. What is this? Power bank. I think you set your laptop on top of this. Oh. Look at that. I think you put your laptop on top of this, and you run the cords through here. I think, I think, I think. It's got some USB ports right here. Oh, it's got a battery built in. What the heck? Okay, I'm putting that aside. I don't know if we're going to use that. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Afterglow. Some kind of uh, video game remote. Oh, this is PlayStation. That's the PlayStation buttons. It feels decent quality, too. There's a little HDMI. Uh, converter there, uh, you know, uh, cable converter, adapter, I should say, adapter. Whoa, my charge. That is a huge battery backup. Huge. I've got two of them, in, actually three of them in my bag right there for charging my GoPro. None of them are anywhere near that size. That is a huge one. Huge. Cell phone covers. Oh, man, this is it's a fun unit here. Razor, another hmm, video game thing. Another battery backup. That one's fully charged. What the heck? And then there's a charger for USB-C. This is good, guys. What's this? Oh, this is for a Fitbit. Fitbit band. I saw a Fitbit charger. We... Whoops. Didn't didn't mean to throw that. What's this? Oh, okay, it's a wallet. No money. Maybe some gift cards. I'll go through that off camera. We don't want to show any of this personal stuff. That's th that's thrash, though. All right, once again, this is a nice backpack right here. Uh, with the exception of the funk right here. Look at the Darth Vader pen. It's cool. Oh, this is a stylus shaped like a pencil. Okay, those will get put aside. Alright, that's cool. 
Okay, in that wallet, that's what we found in that in that stack. I said, maybe we'll find some gift cards, and we did. That's for the movie theaters, Regal. And we have those in town, and then three Starbucks cards. So I'll have to check to see if those got any, any money on them. Nice find. Okay. More clothes, more another bag of clothes. Oh, that's good, Nike. Medium, size medium Nike. Very nice. I'm going to put that right there. Snuggy. <laughs> that's a Snuggy. It's a Stormtrooper Snuggy. That's kind of funny. Mod cloth. Hmm, I don't know. It seems kind of nice, but not nice enough. It's not making the cut. Under Armour. Arizona State right there. That's kind of cool. Put that aside. I don't know. All right, guys. I'll go through the rest of this and uh, pull out the good stuff. That's what I always say. Oh, there's a pink. Love pink. It's cool. Okay, guys, just a few, three pieces that I pulled out, which I think are good. This right here, that's, I believe, a Lululemon. Yeah, that's Lululemon logo. No brand on the inside there, but a nice little pair of shorts, so definitely going to put that aside. And then check this out. Got a pair of Columbia jackets. This one right here is a puffer, and uh, man, the Columbia makes some nice stuff, and it is pricey. So that's a size medium right there on that puffer. That's a good piece. And then this piece right here, more like the rain jacket shell type. Columbia Classic, and that's a size small. These are some uh, nice jackets right here. This is probably a couple hundred bucks in the store, right? I mean, at least a 125 or 150 and up for those jackets. It's good stuff. Okay. More bathroom stuff. There's another cooler bag. Very nice. A little lighted mirror for the bathroom. Maybe we can find some jewelry from the bathroom. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Some nice lotions here. Watermelon lemonade. Ah, that smells good. Shea butter, vitamin E body lotion. Hibiscus paradise. Snowy peach berry. Pure wonder. Bath and Body Works. Fragrant misc. mist. Mist. Right, let's see what we got here. Neutrogena. Some brand new stuff here. Tattoo Studio. Hide and Eek. <laughs> What's that? CC Plus. Oh man, I might just bring these home and, and have my girls go through this stuff. See if there's anything really, really good in there. That's nice. A little first aid kit. There's not much left to it, but the case itself is kind of cool. We got here. A little manicure set. Another manicure set. More of that mist. I think our, my girls use that kind of stuff. The antibacterial hand gel. I could probably use a little bit of that right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, a couple TVs here. Samsung. Good. Good, good, good. The model number is UN39, which means it's probably a 39 inch. It's got the HDMI there. FH5000FXZ4. My um, guess is that it's not a 4K or anything, but it's probably a 1080. This is kind of interesting. It's on this mount right here. This is much thinner. Okay, TCL. It's a good brand. Roku TV. Okay, I think that's what I have in my garage, actually. I was hoping maybe it was like a uh, computer monitor, but it's just a nice LCD TV. It's a very nice one, actually. It's a smart TV. I don't think that's 4K either. Um, the only reason I mention that because 4K is going to be worth a bit more if we were to sell it, which I probably won't because not all my TVs are 4K at home, so we'll be upgrading before we sell those, but still. It's a Honeywell fan right here, tower fan. It's decent. It's a little dirty, but that's decent. This is better. This is a Frigidaire right here. I think this is a mobile air conditioning unit. Either that or it's a swamp cooler. Okay. This is good right here. Look at all those wheels. Oh, you know what I think that's got to be for? It's got to be good for going downstairs, I think. I think that's what it's for. Or going upstairs. That's what it's for. It's for going upstairs. That little funky three-wheel thing. That is interesting. I've never seen that before. I like it. Oh, that's a way. That way is pretty good. Okay, it needs to be cleaned up a bit, but it does have a humidity thing on there. It could be a swamp cooler. I don't think so, though, because, I don't know, a swamp cooler usually has an area to put the uh, the water in. I'm not seeing that. 
Okay, next bag here. We're gonna transfer right in here with all the straight to the market stuff. Here's some Batman chonies right there. It's funny. I think this is a kid's shirt right here, but it does say Avengers Marvel. I don't know. Soul? Look at that. Infinity. By her universe. That's a little different. Alright guys, once again, I'll go through this off camera and we'll find the good stuff and show it to you. Okay, a few pieces that were a little more interesting, but this bag was stinky. That was like the dirty clothes. So unfortunately, we'll have to wash these probably if we're going to sell them anywhere to get a decent amount. Oh, all right. And I said, nice suit, Vader. I bet it costs you an arm and a leg. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. What size is this? That might be a keeper for Mr. Locker Nuts. Yeah, I think I could wear that. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> okay, this. Harry Potter. Size medium. Right? Hogwarts. Cre a crest there, patch. It's a nice piece. We've been selling Harry Potter stuff really well. This, I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I, I'm keeping it mean put aside. It is another Victoria's Secret pink piece. Sports bra. I thought I'll put it aside. Um, but I don't know if there's really that much value in those. At the market, they go like that. First thing in the morning. Because we're charging a dollar or maybe two. There's another Lululemon piece right there. Another yoga pants. Lululemon's also a very expensive brand. And it's just super popular. Alright, so. Found this. It's a poster. You get the Stormtrooper right there, so I'm kind of curious what this is. We got a bunch of posters here. Justice League, it says. Oh boy. Yep, there's a Justice League. So, But you know what, guys? I don't think I'm going to do this right here. I see some Star Wars here. I don't really have a nice flat working surface here, so I don't think I'm going to open these posters here. I don't think so. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> I think that's the guy that owns the locker. Owned the locker. Revenge of the Sith, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's a corny, corny thing. We'll go ahead and let that go, alright? You don't pay your bill, you don't get that poster back. I think he'll be alright. <laughs> I think in the grander scheme of life, he'll be okay. Alright, once again, that is a really disappointing turn of events here, that spilled fluid. Because it got on the lightsabers. Boo. Alright, well at least it's soap. Could be worse stuff than soap, right? But it does make a mess nevertheless. I'll try to find a plastic bag to stick those in. Someone's gonna wanna clean them up. They're still cool. Okay, this right here, I thought it was a bed frame. This is some sort of a futon cot or something. I'm not sure. That's it. Another Star Wars thing. These guys love their Star Wars. Yeah, and that's kinda neat. Millennium Falcon. <laughs> okay, that'll definitely sell at the market for sure. I've never seen one of those. They really, really did sell out the Star Wars brand though, didn't they? Oh, look at this. That's cool. Little Baby Yoda. What's his name again? I forget. He got a little scratched up. Okay, this big boy. It's coming down. Okay, another exercise mat here. I think that'll sell. Oh, this is interesting. So here we've got a Spalding ball in the box with some signatures on it, but it looks like maybe this is the kids' team, I would guess. They're all like little kid writing. Still a new ball. It's, that'll sell at the market. What do we got here? A little mailbox. Minions. Some stuff. Anything good? No. Number one teacher. Okay, someone was a teacher. That's neat. Yo-yo. Some cards. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Uh oh, what's this? What is this? It's got to be a PlayStation, right? I don't know what that is. No. Windows 8. This is Dell. Is this a computer? It looks like a game system. There's HDMIs, USBs, power cord. What is this, guys? It's a computer, I think. Windows 8. Doesn't. I don't think that's a newer one. Hmm. Definitely worth putting aside. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, oh, that was nice. I did. I really wasn't expecting that. I probably should have been. What do we got here? Pokemon. Okay, there's some kind of foil card there. Oh, it says first edition right here. First edition. Oh, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Those are a little bit harder shape. 2019, not super old. Can't see the date on that, but... I'm gonna flip through these. Some of you guys know the Pokemon you're gonna know right away. It's a lot of foil stuff. There's a Charmander. Is that good? I saw so many foil ones. Ooh, that looks good. What do I know though? Okay. 
That was a nice find. Definitely a surprise. Hmm. Cool case, too. Alright, we're having fun, guys. We're having fun. I hope you're having fun. Because I'm definitely having fun. That goes in the garbage. Teacher stuff. Hmm. Birthday card. Was cool for about three seconds. Uh oh. What's this, guys? What's this? Could that be a laptop? Come on, it says HP. I just, I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm getting clickbaited right now. Don't clickbait me, Locker. Oh, maybe not. No clickbait, no clickbait. Oh, that is a laptop, guys. What? Lucasfilm laptop? Is it? That's a uh, Star Okay, I thought that was just a Star Wars case. That's a Star Wars computer? What the heck? <laughs> Razer. For gamers, by gamers. That's like the little controllers we found with Razers. Is this like a game computer? This is a good find. It's got an NVIDIA GeForce in there. Intel Core i7. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know. Lucasfilm computer. There's a locker nuts first right there. That's a good find. Thousand bucks, guys. Thousand bucks on this locker. Right now, I'm, f I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh, what's this? I think that might be Dragon Ball Z or something. Huh. Okay. Photo album. Okay, we'll get this back to them. Wait, wait, wait. We're not getting this back to them. Check this out. Sorry, guys. That's not going with you. That's a Charizard right there. 2019. I think these are worth some money. Oh, that's good. Wait, that's in a photo album. How strange. Now I gotta go through everything. Star Wars. I wonder if they had a Star Wars wedding. It sure looks like it. <laughs> Man, I thought I was a nerd, but those guys may have out-nerded me. <laughs> that's, that's a hardcore nerd play right there. Star Wars wedding. Props, props, props. I've been out-nerded, guys. I've been out-nerded. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, though. Nice Star Wars print. Yeah, I like it. I do, I do, I do. I think that's a Dragon Ball Z pillowcase. <laughs> I think it is. I might just send that to Jeebus. <laughs> he probably already got one, but I might send it to him anyways. I'll just surprise him. Okay, nice comforter right here. And I do look for tags on comforters, guys. Some of the bedding can be very expensive. Yeah, but I can't say I'm gonna look for too long, but I am, I do check it. It's a decent comforter right here. That'll definitely sell at the market. Probably get, I don't know, five bucks, ten bucks, somewhere in between. What is this? It's a Chewbacca. Uh, sleeping bag. Wait, no, just a blanket. Chewie is my co-pilot. That is really funny. It's really corny, but I like it. Next bag. Oh my goodness, more Star Wars stuff. That, I think, is a Chewbacca robe. It's kind of dirty, though. <laughs> so cool. I like, it might be a Snuggie, actually. Oh, there's the Rebel uh, logo on there, too. Oh, yeah, funny. That's supposed to be a lightsaber on your side. Star Wars. Loungewear made cool. <sighs> I only toil because I'm like, should I bring it to the market or should I put it aside? I'm going to put it aside, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Here's another cool one. Another Star Wars loungewear. That looks like a Wookiee suit, right? That was a heavy, heavy robe. Oh, jeez, another one. These guys were so funny. So funny. I mean, they had, like, more Star Wars goofy stuff than they had, like, <laughs> real clothes almost. I'm not, I'm not knocking them. I dig it. There's another Star Wars. What is that? That is a, that's a onesie. Chewy. Oh, my goodness, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, uh, maybe I'll put that aside. Okay. <laughs> and some Stormtrooper pajama bottoms. Star Wars brand, of course. Oh. Okay, guys, that's we've done pretty good. Got all the loose, sloppy stuff out. I mean, it's, a lot of it's just pushed over there, but um, now we got into the boxes. We're getting into the boxes. What did I say that we've gotten into the box? That's terrible English. Okay, uh, let's look at this. Actually, let's get this out first. Okay, come on, box. Ooh, not, not a good start. Well, better start. <sighs> really good start. Okay. I saw a pillow, and I'm like, nope. And then I saw 
Star Wars stuff and even the pillow Star Wars and that is actually a really nice pillow. Oh, oh, so cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Surf House. We'll let that one go. Darth Vader mask. Yeah. Tips. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's nice, actually. I might put that aside. I don't know. I don't know if I should. Let's see what this is. This is, I think, some kind of a light. No, popcorn maker? What is this? I do not know what that is. It's brand new, whatever it is. I think it might actually be a popcorn maker. Ah, uh, that's cool. Ooh, this is actually much cooler. Star Wars, Lucasfilm. This is heavier. I think this is, I think this is die cast. Oh, it's a note card. Look at that, or a recipe holder or something. Right there. <laughs> that's neat. I like it. And Millennium Falcon. What's the purpose of this? It must do something. What does that do? I don't know. Maybe it's just for looks. Oh, Star Wars pen, uh, pe uh, Pez in a collectible gift tin, Rogue One. That is, well, it looks like it's sealed. It's taped. I don't know if they retaped it though. That's cool. Mm, that's a costume. Probably a rogue, uh, a rebel leader or something. A couple more lightsabers. These are some cheaper ones. Space World, it says. Those are really cheap. Uh, what's, what, we'll bring those to the market. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't know what that stands for, but this is a Pokemon hat. Good. And last, but definitely not least, we have a Marshmallow Raider pump action marshmallow gun. I've never owned one of these, I've never found one of these. I think it just pops them out. Yeah, we'll bring it home. I'll let the girls play with it. Okay, what's this? Oh, wow. This is a big squishy unicorn marshmallow, I guess. Ripped up right here. Squishmallows. Squ squishmallows. It is, it is surprisingly soft. And I know that's what these guys are known for. The hole is unfortunate. The dirtiness is unfortunate. But I know it could be cleaned up. That could be spot clean. Um... And I think, did I see another one in here? No, oh, I'm tripping. Never mind. Oh, it was out up there and it fell down. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, let's get in here. Okay. That's full of water, unfortunately. Do you see that? Oh, that's not good. So they put it in here, uh, actually frozen, and let it thaw. Hmm. Yeah, actually, it doesn't smell too bad. They I think they cleaned it before they put it in here, so good on them for that. It's a nice little fridge. It's very small. Um, what I need to do is find some towels. I had some towels before. I don't think I've found any in a while. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, no towels in there right now, but I have a feeling we'll probably find a box of towels or something I'll put in there and soak it up. What's this back here? Big box of soap, probably furniture. <laughs> I kind of want to save that for a little bit later, guys. I want to prolong it. I like to, uh, you know, go through our stuff even and slow. Okay, next box. Yeah, we got clothes. Maybe we got towels. Let's see. Uh, this could be good though. I see a lot of shirts. Hawaii Surf Hawaii. Fruit of the Loom. Look at the pits though. I think I'll let that one go. I usually keep the t-shirts. All right, guys, you know how I do it. I'm gonna go through this and I'll show you what the good stuff is in just a second. Oh, but first, this is, uh, this is a single stitch right here, isn't it? Element. It's got a really soft feel, so it is double stitched down here, but I think the single stitch up here, this feels like an older shirt, but no tag, so I don't know for sure, but I'm going to put that aside. That's cool. That's the kind of thing that we are looking for, so uh, let's try to find some more right now. I don't see any towels in here just yet, but these this is an old Fruit of the Loom shirt right here with the stained pits, and uh, we've got quite a few of those, so I think I'm going to use those, and I'll just go ahead and just set that right in there. Let it soak, let it do its job. Even if I need to find a plastic bag that I can place them in afterwards. Here's another one. Not a lot of value in these, but they can serve a purpose right now. Soak up that water so I don't make a mess when I move that. All right, not super good. Oh, I just noticed the pits. That's the pits, all right. Okay, Hollister brand, which is okay. I just, I like the collar right there. I think it looks cool. I think it's intended to look vintage, but the pits are the pits. Okay, so this right here, Bass. Good brand, right? Um, Maine, USA. So is that 
Oh, it's made in Bangladesh. Okay, but the company's in the USA, so who cares? It's made in Bangladesh still, which is decent, right? But um, it's got little chili peppers on there. I don't know if that's something to put aside or not, but Bass is, is a good brand, I believe. It's the maker of the very nice shoes. There's a nice O'Neill shirt. Not a single stitch, but it looks a little bit older. Oh, look at the pit on that one. It's all tore out, but I like that shirt. That is a cool-looking shirt. We'll still bring it to the vintage market. This one says LOL Vintage. I think they're trying to be vintage, and they got it. It does look vintage. Cool print, the yin and yang. Um, I like it extra large. I think it's a women's shirt because of the, the wide neck. This is a, a Hawaiian shirt. Compared to the Hawaiian shirts that we found in that recent locker, this is not impressive. Palm Wave. Palm Wave right there. The tag, I think, is why I'm not very impressed. But a uh, nice print, nice little shirt. Uh, it's decent, but whatever. This is probably the best thing we found right here, and it's not that amazing. But it is a Kevin Durant Warriors jersey, right? Durant loved it, loved it when he played on the Warriors. I like Kevin Durant, so um, I just think he's a class act. There's a size small and uh, length plus two inches. So it is, is, you know, the small makes it harder to sell, which is why I said it's not like super. Actually, it's an Adidas, though, so maybe that is a decent find, but if it was an extra large or something, it would be a lot better of a find. A few, few decent items there, but mm, still not what we're totally looking for. What's that say? Hannah? I really do wish I had my table. I messed up on that. Hug fun. Oh, that's a brand new tag. Big old teddy bear. Two nerd from geek. <laughs> That's funny. It's 20 bucks on that. Originally. Oh, 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 Yes, I'm liking this box. This is a nice box. Oh, that's so cool. There's a Build-A-Bear, and that's a Boba Fett. And that's dope. So dope. Okay. Here's the Build-A-Bear workshop certificate. Lego Star Wars stuff here. VIP books. I don't know. That's some of the paperwork we will keep. Okay, there's uh, Emperor Claptrap. Oh, that's from Border uh, Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands. I love that game. I don't play that much video games, but that's one game that I really did enjoy. Box is kind of dented up, and the, the guy's missing, obviously. Um, but and here's another one. Oh, the Hulk. Nice. Thor Ragnarok Hulk. It's cool. I mean, it's only cool if we find him, but I do see a Chewbacca right here. That's a Funko Pop right there. Yeah. That's a neat looking Chewbacca. Soft Slugger. I think we can let that one go. Oh, uh, here's a Hulk. Oh, we got lots of Funko Pops in here. There's a Batman and a Hulk. Yes. Ewok. <laughs> Another Build-A-Bear thing. 15 bucks. It's a little Transformer guy. Looks like a Happy Meal toy, probably. Mm, okay, here's the Darth Vader costume. I think for a Build-A-Bear, yeah, yeah, okay. There's a sealed tin, lollipops, with the Darth Vader, okay. The tin's cool, Loll lollipops probably aren't all that great. Ooh, look at these guys. Um, this is for, oh, the Infinity game, that's a video game, so, um, that's neat. All right, the Star Wars guys, that's cool. I love the design on that. That is like a Star Wars animated movie look. There's Darth Maul, same thing. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh packs right here. Try me, push the button. The is mine. Oh, that's cool. Some kind of candy dispenser. Most of this box is gonna go right back in this box. Most of these items, most of this stuff looks like Keeper. It's a little notebook, Darth Vader. Yeah, he wrote in it though. Only a couple pages of writing. Okay. This guy's got a broken arm. Two broken arms, unfortunately. It's a Lego bottom on here. It's a Minotaur or something. Love my coffee. Star Wars. Miracle Bubbles, okay. Oh, there's an arm for one, one of the guy's arms there. What is this? Oh, that's Claptrop right there. Nice. Oh, this is cool, guys. You see this box right here, but it is... Oh, I thought it was empty. It's not empty. All right, first of all, there's another little backpack thing for the Wookiee. There we go. I put him back in the box. Emperor Claptrap, so box is still a little little messed up, but uh, great find. Okay, this right here, also empty, but I see him right there. Super Saiyan Goku, Dragon Ball Z. 
I wonder if we found him before. Found a bunch of Dragon Ball Z stuff, and uh, I'll get him back in too. <laughs> There's a Darth Vader Infinity figurine. He's probably one of the coolest ones we've seen. Yeah, and then here's some Disney plush. Ben Kenobi robe on him, Disney Parks, nice. Okay, Santa hat, that's, we can let that go. There's a Darth Vader Pez. What are these things? Body wash. C-3PO body wash, okay. And there's some more. Oh, that's Miracle Bubble right there. Oh, look at this, this is Smurfs, I think, yeah. It must be like a McDonald's toy or something. Got some little Smurfs in there. Oh, he's got a bunch of these. More of the body wash. Little mouse. What's in this? Oh, more uh, Christmas ornaments. This is Darth Vader. This is great stuff, guys. I, I really like selling this kind of stuff. I think it's fun. USB flash drive. See if you can find that. Oh, Dragon Ball Z fig pin. Ooh, that is neat. I bet you this is worth a few bucks. Fig pin. Super Saiyan Goku, number 29. Sewing set there. Let that go. This is neat. Look at this Funko Pop buttons. Star Wars. And I think this is the USB drive right here. Yep. <laughs> neat. Now, oh, got two things in here. All right, first of all, Star Wars chest. I thought it was empty, but they just put the board in last. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Now, if these guys are in there, that's going to be a few bucks. That's a few bucks. And then this, Star Wars Monopoly. And there's the pieces right there. Yeah, guys, this is a, this is a great box right here. That was a really, really, really good box. <laughs> What's this? Button. What? Why would anybody want that? Friendshipauto.com. Weird dealing. Hmm. Okay, next box. Okay. Yeah, okay, this doesn't sound as good. Evan... Boy clothes. So maybe they had a kid. I don't know. Hey, that's pretty. <laughs> this is pretty worn. It's a pretty awesome sweatshirt there. Sasquatch hoodie. That's a really cool one. But like I was showing, that is pretty thrashed on that. I don't know if that's able to be cleaned up. That's a nice sweatshirt though. That'll sell at the market. It'll, it'll do good. Express jeans. Oh, what's this? <laughs> little Robin costume. Funny. Better. Better. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that we're definitely are trying to find. Hoping to find. Hoping to find. Dragon Ball Z. Size small. Cool. All right, guys. I'm going to go. Oh, these are hanging too. That's good. I'm going to go through these and see what we're going to pull out and uh, save, right? Not save, but you know. Sell in a better manner than just blown out the flea market. All right. It's Calvin Klein jeans right there. It's decent. Okay, guys. I went through the stuff. I pulled out some a little bit better stuff. Here's a Nicholas shirt. Jack Nicholas golf shirt. Okay, that's just a little bit nicer. This one right here, JF. I, it seems nicer. It's got some nice buttons. It's a slim fit. Um, then now we get into the fun stuff. Look at that. That's so awesome. Star Wars size medium tank top. That's so dope. I love this. It just looks 70s. looks period for when that came out. Coca-Cola shirt. Not, not, not too impressive, but someone is going to want it. Batman. All right. Nice. Nice. Nike. Good. Here's another Hawaiian shirt. Love the graphic. The shirt's me. SSLR. It's, it's okay. There's Mandalorian. Always fun. Always good. This is neat. Look at that. Darth Vader. I like that. Uh, these Captain America ones. I've, I actually have had that same shirt. It's from Target. It's not too impressive. You could tell he washed one of them a lot of times. The other one's fresher. This is neat. Look at this. Avengers. It's got a comic book cover. But what's interesting is look at this. It's like torn covers to make up like the whole team. But in like one figure. Right? That's cool. I like it. And this one. Aloha U. Oh, okay. Olaha University, Strum Brada Strum. This is okay. Beats and rhymes. I don't know. Whatever. I like the Star Wars ones the best. This Dragon Ball Z is good. All right, guys. Are you liking this locker? I just took another load out to the car. I'm going kind of slow. Uh, I got Grace's soccer game starting in just a little bit. And, oh, man. 
Tomorrow we're doing another big whatnot auction. I'm looking at this stuff and I'm like, man, I'd love to put this stuff in a whatnot auction because um, even though we do our live auctions on YouTube, a lot of this stuff, like the Funko Pops and stuff, we could sell individually on whatnot and it goes quick. Um, and it's just kind of the kind of stuff they love their own whatnot fun stuff. I'm liking this locker. Are you guys liking this so far? Um, comment in the vi in, down below or wherever the comments are. Comment and let me know if you like in this locker so far. It's actually better than I expected. Um, of course, it could be even way better than that. I mean, it could be like jewelry boxes and stuff. Of course, of course, of course. But it's fun. I like these kinds of lockers. And I've been hitting some good ones. And it's funny because I brought those black and yellow totes from that black and yellow tote locker I bought recently. That one was fun. They have lots of Disney stuff, and that was unexpected. This time, so much Star Wars stuff unexpected. But of course, I don't know. When I seen stuff like the fridge, I thought was cool. You see a couple things you think are cool, there's a chance that they're going to have more stuff that you think is cool. So maybe it's not that like, that much of a stretch to believe. But um, the Star Wars, the Funko Pops, Dragon Ball Z. I'm not a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, but I just like finding that stuff. Skateboards. Yeah, it's fun, right? Okay, but anyways, let me get back to it. Yeah, get through this stuff here. I might have to wait till tomorrow on this. I don't know. Uh, depends if I want to miss my daughter's soccer game or not. That's that's the real question. <laughs> I've said it many times before. When I buy a locker like this, money is obviously an investment. Whoa, whoa! Wait a second, guys. Look at this. Forget. Okay, I'll, I'll go back to what I was seeing a second ago. Look at this hiding in the back corner. I think this is going to be some more ukuleles. I think this is some ukuleles. Oh, no way, guys. No way. It definitely says cards, holy smokes. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. 